Well, hello there, NFL fans. It is your hoster. It is Rai Rai. Anyway, I'll discuss a lot of stuff about football. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't like that, maybe you want to like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And let me know what you think about the video. And all that good stuff. Okay, now if you want to be a part of the Rai Rai show, the link will be down below. Double click it and you and I could discuss about random stuff. Football, wrestling, um, movies, politics, food, whatever. Just DM me on there. Hopefully someone will, will get back with me. I have TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, and all my social media accounts will be down below. Now let's begin. Now, if you were an NFL owner, what major change would you like to do? In a future NFL season, we like to like fix the overtime rule, fix the tie rule. Um, what else? I know they fixed the catching rule, so that's good. What about um, limit on the penalties? There are so many penalties in football that is crazy. So I don't know. I guess this is going to be like a new series I'm working on or trying to do, you know. The free agency is over with, I think. So, and do you think your team have a chance to win the 2022 or the upcoming Super Bowl next, uh, next February? Whenever that is, I think it's 2022. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think your team is going to win the division? Wild card or what? Now, you don't have to start on hot, be hot. Your team, your team could start slow, then later on in the year, could have a finish the season on fire and get in the playoffs and win the whole thing. Look at the Buccaneers. They didn't have a great season in the beginning, then later on in the year, they, they caught it on fire. So anybody could to win it, you know? Now, the Buccaneers, they want to repeat, they got to run that back. Will that happen? Who knows? Hopefully not. But you know that the NFL wants the Buccaneers to repeat again because it's good for ratings. I don't care. That's not my team. Okay, I don't care. You know? I would like to see a team who has never been in that predicament. We know that Detroit Lions will never, ever win a throw a ball because they had that they have dumb owners. Same thing with Jacksonville Jaguars. I know they have a new head coach, a college coach, come from the NFL, going to the NFL. That does not really work out good. So this might be a total disaster for him or a very successful. Who is he going to pick up? Is he going to get Lawrence from Clemson or what? There's only 10 more days into the NFL draft. He needs to fix his NFL team. I think that's a dumb guy, not dumb guy, but a dumb decision. Get a college coach into the NFL. It's two different things. College is right here, and the NFL is right here, okay? Where it all depends how you look at it, okay? I love the NFL. I love college, okay? So, I don't know what the NFL going to do. If they're going to fix the overtime rule, the tie rule, I hate the ties. They should never have ties in football, especially if you got NFL picks or however. You know, I hate it. Now, the Bears got played um, week 17 against Las Vegas Raiders. So, that's, you know, it's going to be an uneven schedule. So, I'm looking forward to it. Now, I know a lot of you, or maybe a few of you, are complaining that it should not be something games. It's all about the money. The NFL owners. Wants to make it up last year because last year they had fans, but not like in back in the day. Now, the owner says the commissioner Roger Goodell says he wants a full capacity this fall in every arena. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. So, I think this is gonna be a new thing for sports and other activities. I think. You got to have like a vaccine shot or something like that to get in the building. 
So we'll see what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna be the surprising team this year. I mean, this fall, I had no idea anybody could win it any day of the week, you know. But I think your team needs to win a division, especially if they added a week 17. The wild card is going to be very difficult to get in the flipping playoff, especially if you have a very tough division, like the Chiefs. Chiefs is a very tough division. You got the Chiefs, you got the Broncos, you got the Raiders, and you got the Chargers. Very tough. But for some reason, Chargers can't win nothing. They have a great quarterback, always George Phil Rivers. He finally hung it up. He should retire as a as a Charger, not as a Colt. I think he's gonna retire as a Charger anyway. But whatever, he should retire a long time ago. I don't understand why do these quarterbacks always like to stick it out so long. I don't understand that. Don't understand. Now I don't know if you know McMahon for the Bears says. Who's ever comes to the Bears will die their career. And that is so true because they don't protect the quarterback. They're dumb. And I guarantee it happens with the other NFL franchises. Will, will the Cleveland Browns get over that hurdle and get, get the Super Bowl win it? They got to the AFC, I think, title game, but they lost the Chiefs. I don't know if Cleveland Browns is a big marketing. I don't know if they are. Not like Chicago or New York. They like to go for marketing teams, you know? I don't know if Patriots was a big marketing team before Tom Brady. I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. So, all that good stuff. So, I like to see Detroit Lions win the division. We don't know that. That's never going to happen. Probably be bottom of the division or the Bears. Or maybe the Vikings. I doubt that Green Bay will be bottom of the division. I'd be happy if they are, but they're not. They had to give Rodgers some weapons. I don't know why they didn't do that when the free agency kicks off or why they didn't they make a trade for the guy from Houston. I don't know why. And I was going on with Watson. So what a mess, you know. If your team did not make the playoffs or had a crappy year, I say they should just make some big block versus moves before the season kicks off and all good stuff. Is Carson Wentz the answer for the Colts? I don't know. I don't, I think that's good for the for Philly to make the trade trade for Colts, but we'll see what's gonna happen. So he was good a couple years ago, and after that, he hit rock bottom. So, let's see what's going to happen for the Bears. Good luck with your NFL team. Good luck with the NFL draft. Coming up in 10 days. Everyone out there, have a good one and go Bears. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. Leave a comment down below what you think about the video. Later.